I know what the Russians try to do. They try to suborn individuals, and they try to get individuals, including U.S. persons, to act on their behalf, either wittingly or unwittingly. That's former CIA Director John Brennan this week before the House Intelligence Committee. Joining us now, John McLaughlin, a 32-year veteran of the CIA uh, and was the acting CIA director. He's also an MSNBC national security analyst. Uh, I just want to, John, uh, reread this lead paragraph of the Washington Post tonight for anyone in our audience who is joining late. And none of us have read this only once. And so the audience will experience what we've all done, which is read it a couple of times to really comprehend it and believe what we're reading. It says, Jared Kushner and Russia's ambassador to Washington discussed the possibility of setting up a secret and secure communications channel between Trump's transition team and the Kremlin using Russian diplomatic facilities in an apparent move to shield their pre-inauguration discussions from monitoring, according to U.S. officials briefed on intelligence reports. And uh, John McLaughlin, you worked in the CIA. You come across, uh, say, an intercepted Russian communication, which seems to be the source of this. Uh, what would be the internal CIA reaction to intercepting this communication from the Russian ambassador indicating that Jared Kushner wanted to set up this secret communication? Well, well Lawrence, if, if that's what it was, uh, the first reaction would be is this a prank? It would be kind of disbelief uh, because it's not the sort of thing that you would expect to happen in a normal transition. Um, so f oddly for me, I was thinking about it tonight, I see all of this through the eyes of an intelligence officer, of course, and it's simultaneously familiar and bizarre. Familiar in the sense that I know secret channels, used them all my life, bizarre in the sense that it's a proposed secret channel through the government that is probably the most active government in the world in carrying out espionage against the United States. And at a time, recall the timing here too, it's on October 3, about two months before this, that the intelligence community, the director of national intelligence in combination with the Secretary of Homeland Security puts out a report with high confidence saying that the Russians hacked our election. This is the first of two reports. So in that context, if you were to get this at the CIA, having read that and having known that, um, your first reaction would be is, could this be true? And then you would discover it is true and move on from there. Um, I don't want to overstate because uh, obviously, there's a lot we don't know. We don't know the exact content of the conversation. We don't know the uh, objective that was stated uh, from the uh, Kushner side during the conversation. Um, uh, those things we don't know. But I, I, I can't keep out of my mind the thought that if an American intelligence officer had done anything like this, uh, we'd consider it espionage. Yeah, would it, would it be fair to say that that a conversation like that, even if it wasn't, even if the plan wasn't executed, uh, gives the Russians this the feeling that they own Jared Kushner, they own a person yeah. from that point forward who would make a suggestion like this? I think, uh, you know, we're all struggling to understand. I think to some degree, a couple of thoughts here. I think to some degree, um, the Trump administration at these senior levels is is being consumed by its own hubris. Uh, they must think of themselves as masters of the universe, and put that in combination with with their evident. And this is what I think bothers me personally the most: their seeming contempt of American institutions. Uh, the denigrating things they've said about everything from our judiciary to our intelligence agencies. These institutions, including, in fact, the intelligence agencies, uh, because they are closely supervised in the United States, these are the functions of our democracy. And I can't help thinking that in the background of all of this is that sophomoric idea we used to hear about, about deconstructing the administrative state. 
that somehow we shouldn't use these institutions, we should use the ones we trust more, the Russians, that doesn't make any sense to me. And um, so, you know, there's a lot we don't know here, and it, it really does underline again the need for someone as independent as they can be to take all of this and get to the bottom of it, uh, and pretty quickly. John McLaughlin, thank you very much for joining us on this important night. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Lawrence. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.